Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about how the UK should keep its nukes, and I don't think they will if Jeremy Corbyn gets elected as prime minister. But the UK should keep its nukes, and here's why, okay? Um, recently, uh, North Korea's deputy ambassador to the UK, Thay Young Ho, he defected to South Korea, and he was visited by British spies, and he defected, and he's in South Korea now, and he talks about the evils of the North Korean regime and how they oppress its people, how they lie to its people, and um, I believe the UK spies made the right decision with this, um, but also um, the British uh, fighter planes, the Typhoons, they have uh, joined the U.S. Air Force on occasion in patrolling the skies of Korea, helping out the U.S. and the South Korean Air Force. And North Korea has nukes. So if the U.K. suddenly gives up its nukes, North Korea is not going to trust them anymore. And North Korea could possibly still launch a nuclear missile at the U.K. The U.K. sent the second highest amount of soldiers to the Korean War, second to the United States. So North Korea is not going to automatically trust the U.K., okay? The... That is just asinine to be giving up their nukes in that situation. Also, Iran is more anti-American than anti-British, but Iran, in the process of developing nuclear weapons, Iran doesn't trust the British. They know the British is America's number one ally. And then let's go to Russia. For the UK, that's the most important issue. Say most important for lasting this. The Russia... Just a few days ago, um, UK Typhoon fighter planes had to chase a Russian plane away from UK airspace. The Russian military plane was threatening UK airspace. And the last two years, UK fighters have had to scramble several times to chase off Russian Tu-95 bombers. And Russia is not giving up its nuclear weapons. They're not freezing their development of their nuclear weapons. They're expanding them. So for the UK to give up their nuclear weapons in that case is just irresponsible. And that's the path that Jeremy Corbyn will lead the UK down unless he suddenly changes his policies. But I just don't see that happening. So the UK needs to keep its nuclear weapons. And there's a lot that Theresa May does that I don't agree with. And she needs to take place in the televised debates and she needs to lay out more of a plan, but she will keep nor she will keep the UK's nuclear weapons to deter the North Korean threat, the Russian threat, and the Iranian threat. And that's why the UK needs to keep their nuclear weapons and Jeremy Corbyn's irresponsible for wanting to give them up in a situation like that. So anyways, however's doing, I'll take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.